From the very first frame, something instantly grabs attention. A sleek white Aptera gliding across a road at sunset. A prototype no one in the community has ever seen before. For months, fans wondered when we'd finally get another real update. And now, it's here. The reveal we've been waiting for. This is our first true look at Gemini. And it changes everything. After a long pause in official communication, monthly updates appear to be back. That alone signals momentum. But the biggest news isn't the update schedule returning. It's the fact that Gemini is now out on the road being tested, fully built with production weight components and quietly unlocking the efficiency numbers everyone has been desperate to know. The update begins with a scene that might look familiar. Rows of assembled structural pieces lined up inside Aptera's facility. Earlier footage showed stacks of parts up to nine high. Now we're seeing multiple assembled bins lined up, possibly six or seven just in this view. If nine stacks include these, or if nine more exist separately, the count of validation bodies could be even higher than expected. No matter how you interpret it, Production intent hardware is moving rapidly through the pipeline. Then, there's a new detail that says a lot about where Aptera stands in manufacturing readiness. A roll cage is being meticulously welded by hand. It reinforces the passenger compartment, but also reveals that final mass production tooling isn't fully deployed yet. Hand welding works for limited batches but not high volume output. That means Gemini and its early siblings are still part of a vital low volume learning stage. Aptera is building knowledge, skill, and workflow now, the foundation for the ramp up later. Suddenly, a white Aptera rolls into view. No camo, no signature wraps, just clean simplicity. It looks different enough that viewers may not realize what they're seeing at first. But by the end of the update, it's confirmed. This is Gemini. The first production weight validation vehicle. The one designed to give real-world results we can trust. Momentum isn't just about vehicles. It's about the people building them. New team members introduce themselves. Supply chain, firmware, electrical engineering, shipping and receiving, automotive assembly, 3D scanning. Some have backgrounds at major companies like Qualcomm, Tesla, and NEO. Others bring startup grit, hands-on build expertise, and carbon fiber knowledge from CPC Group. This expansion means Aptera isn't just assembling hardware, it's building the human machine necessary to scale. The facility is busy, not staged, not theoretical genuinely buzzing. A time-lapse shows days of non-stop progress with stations being constructed, kitted, and used. Something blurred in one section of the frame hints at technology or tooling the company isn't ready to reveal yet. That blur, whatever it hides, fuels excitement. What's new there? What piece of the efficiency puzzle is Aptera protecting until the right moment? Further into the update, the jig appears, a precision assembly fixture that locks major composite sections in place for consistent bonding. Earlier prototypes like Apollo and Hermes were assembled without a precision jig, leading to more variation. Now, each body can be aligned with tight tolerances. Over seven days of time-lapse footage, seven bodies appear complete a rate of one per day using a single jig. It isn't factory scale volume yet, but it shows a repeatable manufacturing rhythm emerging, and the team is still learning and accelerating. Then comes the breakthrough update. Lightweight cast frames have arrived from the supplier. Previous validation units relied on heavier machined frames. These new ones reflect what launch vehicles will actually weigh. That means Gemini now embodies Aptera's true production weight and aerodynamic profile. For the first time since this journey began, 
we have a real efficiency baseline forming. The momentum continues with another major milestone. Battery modules are being assembled on site. Not overseas, here, inside the same facility where the vehicles are built. That means the infrastructure for module production exists, it's functioning, and it's already integrating into the validation builds. The program is no longer a design on paper. It has crossed into real operational maturity. Every subsystem that enters the facility, frames, carbon fiber shells, solar panels, control electronics, battery modules, now contributes to the most important testing phase yet. Gemini and its siblings will prove performance, manufacturability, and efficiency in the real world. They will define how fast Aptera can be built, how consistent it will be, and what true range customers can expect. Internal efficiency testing has already begun. Combined driving cycles, high-speed segments, stop-and-go scenarios. The kind of testing that reveals whether the dream of 10 miles per kilowatt hour holds up under scrutiny. The results so far are described as encouraging. Not published yet, but encouraging. That single word carries enormous weight. If Gemini meets expectations, Aptera instantly becomes one of the most efficient vehicles ever created. And that is exactly what this validation phase is designed to prove. January will bring more updates. The company promises another reveal next month. That means new metrics, more progress, and possibly validation efficiency numbers for the first time. The timeline feels like it's accelerating again, and this time with real hardware rolling on real roads. The excitement is impossible to ignore. The build line exists. Skilled technicians are working long hours. Components are stacking up. Frames are lighter and stronger. Battery modules are coming together under the same roof as the vehicle. The manufacturing puzzle is aligning piece by piece. Gemini represents more than a new prototype. It represents proof. Proof that Aptera is finally transitioning from vision to reality. The wait has been long, but the progress now feels tangible. Something big is taking shape, and for the first time in a long time, the future doesn't feel distant. It's rolling on three wheels right in front of us. Gemini is here, and the next update could be the one that changes everything.